my life before Christ, it was, I always believe in God. Raised Catholic through grammar school and, you know, in high school. And my kids have been baptized, confirmation and communion, which I did the same. One thing was missing, it was the relationship that I have now. And, um, and I had to learn to just give everything to God and he will take care of the rest. In 2015, um, one of my friends brought me to Living Faith. I was going through a lot, a lot of stress, and I didn't know where to turn. And actually that stress was wearing me down. So she invited me, so I came. And the first moment that I came, seems like a God was talking to me through Pastor Ed and through the, all the songs that I, you guys were, you know, singing. So it was just, I was just weeping. So it, I said to myself, I feel, you know, so comfortable and I feel at home. And then I received a phone call, I believe it was uh, Pastor um, Greg. And he asked me if I can, you know, accept him. Jesus Christ as my savior. And that's the moment that I, that I did. Since that moment on, it has been a journey, little by little. You know, I just leave everything to God. as your savior, and is he the Lord of your life? Yes, he is. Excellent, she said yes, everyone, it's yes. great. <laughs> well, Pilar, upon your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and savior, and in obedience with God's biblical command, it is my privilege to baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of his death, raised in the likeness of his resurrection. 